We're gonna do some sync claps here, because that's what we do. Oh, that is, that is weird. That has a weird effect. Weird effect. Weird effect. Weird effect. Weird. I like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's gonna do. Okay, let's do that without any effects. Hello, I am Duango AC, and this is Super Mario Bros. 3 Warpless. This is a pretty interesting run. It's made by a couple of good folks, Lord Tom and Tompa. They have done some pretty amazing work. This particular task has, for some reason, never been console verified, and I don't know how we managed to admit doing that. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to turn this console off. You can see from this camera down here, I've got this real physical console and real physical cartridge right here. Turn that off. I'm going to hit enter on this screen here. It's now waiting for the console to turn on, which I will do right now. So this is Super Mario Bros. 3 Warpless, and quite honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't have notes prepared, I am not Mitch Flower Power, I don't think that's how Mitch did this. Okay, one thing I can tell you, well, I don't necessarily do everything the same way that, uh, well, well that, what's happening here isn't the same way that Mitch does it. And while I don't know what's happening in this task because I have not previewed it before watching it, I know how Mitch does this. And Mitch Flower Power does not do the first level that way. <laughs> now, he has also reviewed this video, uh, watching it in an emulator, and he has managed to figure out how to do this strat where Mario is running backward. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And yes, I think the consensus inside of my chat is that we are, in fact... Uh, very appreciative of Mitch Flower Power for his ability to be very close to Taskbot in skill level. <laughs> He's pretty insane. Okay, that was... Did you see that clip? <laughs> Anytime... Look, there was another one. Anytime Mario can get into a block and pushed out, that happens, because he gives you just a little bit of a push forward. So, of course, people in chat, if this gets put on YouTube... By all means, have fun with this. Uh, feel free to do sane things. That damage is intentional. Mitch uses that strat as well to ensure that as he goes through... Oh, this strat too. Yep. Mitch can pull that off because he is a human task. Um, taking damage on that first hill gets rid of the tail that we had to pick up to get through the fortress. The tail uh, does have some effects on speed, so getting rid of the tail helps later on, especially right up here in this next level in particular. Now you'll note that there were always movements of one. The Hammer Brothers consistently are moving only one square. In this case, there's only one Hammer Brother, but uh, you'll see that the Hammer Brothers are always going to be manipulated into going exactly where they need to be. Uh, this level is identical to the strategy that Mitch Flower Power uses, with the exception that he tends to get the star in the earlier levels and reserve the, uh, the um, flower for later. Okay, at this exact location, there's a specific trick. After hitting the Hammer Brother and getting the star, if he hits this and collects that at the last possible moment, he's able to collect that while the game is transitioning out of that. He keeps the fire power, the fire flower power, but he doesn't delay, uh, there's no animation, well, uh, because it's in the Hammer Brother. Um, if he were to get the fire power on this ship, it would take more time. So he could have coaxed the Hammer Brother to move toward him to get rid of him quicker but the net time save was better to have him uh, stop on that spot, which allows you to use the flower. Uh, so folks in my chat just chilled and gave me a demon voice, and whether my editor decides to keep this demon voice in the YouTube recording is up to him. So you can choose a couple of different microphones. That is a cool effect. That can happen. Uh, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not currently sounding like a chipmunk if he decides to leave that in. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. <laughs> so right there, he embedded himself in the sh in the ship, which forced him to the right. That moved over quicker. Now he's currently doing wall jumps to grab the wand off screen, and Mitch is able to do this crazy effect, which is it's kind of hilarious. Wait, choo choo hy hype train? What are we at? Why is there a hype train going off? Oh, okay. Well, the hype train just took off. All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with this whole hype train stuff. I'm not really, uh, I haven't invested in it yet. It finished, huh? It got to level one. All right, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm not a streamer that's, that's got a gazillion followers yet. Although, if you're watching this and you would like to follow me, 
please do so. I would mean... it would mean a world to me. Okay, Mitch uses a strategy where he deliberately rubs up against the block, but the Tass is able to avoid some lag and get P-Speed pretty quick here. So there's some minor differences here compared to what Mitch would do. <laughs> All our bits are belong to you. Why, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for that. Giving it without an effect. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. Okay, so the tail grab here is different than the route than the method that Mitch would take. Um, also, retaining P speed in this level is really difficult. There's also some other things. You'll note that the score is consistently kept very low. The total number of digits that have to be added up is kept low because of binary coded decimal math. It's kind of a lot to explain in a stream like this. But basically, you want the individual digits in your score to be relatively low. Now, right there, you might have heard the Hammer Brothers move more than once. And the reason for that is because he's deliberately positioning the Hammer Brothers in the right order, right place. That clip is amazing. Um, he's positioning the Hammer Brothers in the right area. Oh, God. This is so silly. <laughs> to, to be able to get what's called early hammer. Um... <laughs> <laughs> by, by getting a deathless early hammer, he forces the Hammer Brothers to switch places, and for the one with the, uh, with the, well, you'll see in a second. Lots of movement. This guy comes right over here. Now, we can grab that. Now we got the hammer. Early hammer means you can break this block, or this, this rock right here. And from here on out, you can almost bet that he's going to force only one Hammer Brother movement per level transition, which there's only one left. That uh, that clip is is has been done RTA, but it's not easy. It's darn near impossible. It's so difficult that Mitch does not attempt it. So the Tass uses the tail through here because it is faster, but it's also very hard to get all those tail swipes. So Mitch's route through this level uses a very, very different strategy. Is the timer in the status bar running slowly? I don't know. <clears throat> Mitch is not slacking. Mitch is Mitch is to go is hardcore. <laughs> so airships are a great time for donations. Oh wait, we're not on stream. Anyway. Yeah. Well you're welcome to donate if you want. <laughs> How much time does that clip save? Only a few seconds, because it takes so long. Only actually a couple of seconds, really. It takes so long to transition through there that it's not that huge of a time save. Oh, Petman, thank you so much for the bit uh, for the bits. Thank you. I, I will take that as a donation. <laughs> thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Ooh, may I drink this? Thank you. King coconut water. What is king coconut water? Okay, I'm not trying to like product place here, but I was given a snack. Hmm. A variety of coconut unique to the island nation of Sri Lanka? Hmm. Interesting. This is different. Hey, Timothy.Games, we need our donation dono reason reader. <laughs> hey, Yoshi Rules, glad to have you here. So, that fight right there is optimal, and here there are a couple of wall jumps to grab the wall. I'll grab the wand off screen. <coughs> Excuse me. You can make that happen. Sure you could. <laughs> anyway, glad to have you here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't really do text-to-speech either. Okay, so that just completed World 2 in record time. Uh, this, this task is just absurd. <clears throat> yeah, very silly. Okay, this water level physics are so obnoxious. But even Mitch manages to do some pretty crazy strats. Getting out of the water right at the right time here is very, very difficult, though. And you can see it just completely halts your horizontal movement. Also, Mitch doesn't clip his head into the pipe. But <laughs> at least not usually. I've seen him do it, but... Okay, again, you'll see that the uh, mushroom... <coughs> excuse me, mushroom is forced, so you don't get three stars. Movement of one, so the Hammer Brothers did exactly what they needed to. Mitch has a strategy where he deliberately faces to the left to get P-Speed faster. The Tass uses a riskier strat that works 
uh, a li t it saves a little bit of time. Otherwise, there's uh, a fair bit of similarity between the way Mitch Flower Power does this run and this one. <laughs> you have a ten dollar donation from T four five bot that says beep beep. <laughs> sure, we we can go with that. Okay, this is just showing off. Like, the way the task hops up and down, and then goes right through the block, that's just disgusting. That's really silly. So, for anyone watching this later, anyone on my stream... Oh, by the way, um, I didn't see that Petman also subscribed at a tier one, uh, at a tier one tier, a tier for a year. Wow, nice. Um, so, anyone who types, the color of their name appears behind me, which is pretty cool. So, he's going to do a door three strat, which Mitch sometimes does. It's a one frame, I think it's one frame long trick, where you can enter the door again and get back to here as a, as a quick... A uh, quick warp. It's a pretty cool way of doing it. For those who are wondering, my load average is currently around 12%. Or I'm sorry, or load average of 12.7, roughly. Or is it 11.7? Uh, 11 point, uh, 12.10 right now this is my load average. You have an anonymous $0 donation that says, Hail Taskbot. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this strategy of bunny hopping is to preserve speed as much as possible. And that was a bunch of silliness. He, so he got coins deliberately. It offset values so that... Anyway. So it save, it, everything's about saving time. Okay. So in this case, he's going to hop through there. Now, he deliberately wants one of these uh, Hammer Brothers in this particular run. You have a 50 cent donation from Rando Fando that says, Longtime viewer, first time frame saver? Right. Get your quake on. <laughs> Are there any donos that say greetings from Germany yet? That would be interesting. That was fun. Hammer. That'll come in handy later. Is that loss? Anyway. Uh, sorry. Moving on. It's amazing how difficult it is to get P-Speed in this level. A, t a donation that says good luck. Okay, that clip right there is drives Mitch crazy. Because that's just not a thing that happens. <laughs> and another clip into the pipe. Pipe train conductor? Sure. Okay. So, another airship, another time, another chance for people in chat to say things that I then respond to and be silly with. <laughs> Starter of a hype train, really? Oh, uh... Okay. Sure. Greetings from Sweden, save the Germany. I don't know if they would say that. Shoot a fireball during a cutscene? This is just showing off here at this point. One-ups, because why not? <laughs> and get dangerously close to places. Ignore the, ignore the leaf, you don't want it. You don't want the tail right now. It's amazing that he manages to do this without causing any lag. <laughs> so, I don't really know what to do with this whole hype train stuff. I'll figure it out later. Okay, so that was frame perfect... Uh, fireballs. That is so risky. Don't do that. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch doesn't try that. So he'll probably embed himself here, so that pushes him all the way over to the right so he can get down the pipe quicker. Now this one, it's only possible to get up there if you can get off the top. Now that double fireball is just ridiculous. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. And we have a random donation that reads, Another great day of AGDQ. Love watching my childhood frames get destroyed. Money goes to view the frames, view the donation orb. These random generations of... of, 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 of donations are ridiculous. <laughs> he wall climbed, climbed to victory. Yes, he did. <laughs> <clears throat> So if you're new to this, I have Taskbot over here, 
and you can see there's this visualization display here, right here. You can see it on two different cameras. That's the buttons that are being pressed. I'm going to try really hard to not actually touch the cart, because touching the cart means desync. And I don't want to create static electricity and desync anything. Hey, the X-Man. Thank you very much for that subscription. So if you're just joining us, we are recording stuff for YouTube, or at least future content. I don't know if we're going to use this for a pitch video for a future event, because this has not actually been shown, hilariously. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't been shown. It should be shown. But we've, we've done so much Super Mario Bros. 3 over the years that I almost don't want to do that right yet. <laughs> I, I can't read the donation because it's just random scribbling. <laughs> <laughs> These Hammer Brothers never get a chance. <laughs> is that from Tadbo? That's all I can ask. Is that from Tadbo? If this is on YouTube, it, it means that I actually said it on a, on a YouTube comment. Okay, the hopping into pipes is an interesting technique that even Mitch uses. It saves just a bit of time. God, so perfect. Those blocks right there, by the way, gave me so much trouble when I was younger. Tech Heaven, you don't think this one would show well? Ah, eh, maybe not. That's okay. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going to use this. How common is static electricity with these task setups? I mean, static electricity is an issue all the time. These cables were not designed for what we're doing to them. Um, static electricity affects your real gameplay all the time. You might just not, just probably don't realize it. Okay, that's disgusting. This is not the method that Mitch uses. <laughs> Mitch doesn't usually even mess with that. Does it mean he had to make yet another thumbnail? He usually skips this. He uses a hammer to get through here. We have a donation comment from Goose. Okay, P-Speed here is something that Mitch can get, but it's not easy. Also, the hyper cypher swim right over here is not easy to pull off. Also, manipulating those spinies is a pain. Oh yeah, Audrey, you're not wrong. I wouldn't. Pro I probably wouldn't pitch this for at least a couple of events. We've done a lot of Super Mario Bros. 3. But it's such a good game. Okay, right there, he clipped through the Hammer Brothers by, by moving through at a level transition. Mitch sometimes gets lucky doing that. Or he has another technique, that he, uh, another uh, luck-based method that can happen called, uh, no, uh, called boxless, basically. Where he forces the Hammer Brothers to be in a specific place. He can't really force them. I shouldn't say force. RNG just randomly happens to be in his favor, but the task just does its own thing. Again, movements of one right there to save on frames, or save to the frames. Now, the 100% the run likes to desync in this level, and we don't really know why. <laughs> We've never figured it out. It's very non-deterministic, so we're now in uncharted territory on this, this console verification attempt. <clears throat> Well, yeah, they do, but you just it doesn't hurt the console. It just makes it so that the input gets garbled. And uh, you never even notice it. It doesn't hurt anything. <clears throat> yeah, and Andrew, see, it, doing it is easy if you can get the Hammer Brothers to be in the right place. It's getting them to cooperate that's the hard part. That's, uh, that's pretty difficult. Uh, the cables themselves are fine. But remember, electrostatic discharge goes through cables. So, it, <laughs> yeah, these cables are amazing. These were made by Micro 500. They are Cat 6 STP, Shielded Twisted Pair Cat 6. Also, good golly, stop just messing with the fire that way. Anyway, I mean, don't stop because it's amazing, but you disgust me. <laughs> he just leaves the coin, because why not? Sure, finally gets it. Um, anyway. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's an auto-scroller. Might as well have fun with it, but... <laughs> so, power can go... Electrostatic discharge can do a couple of different things. It can go through the USB cable and affect it that way. It can go through the console cart and affect it. A lot of different things can cause interference. It doesn't hurt anything. It just makes it so that it maybe doesn't get the signal it needs and it has to ask for input again and then everything gets offset. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, you can get Cat 6 
with minimal shielding, as far as I understand it, but I haven't really messed around with it much. Oh, I thought he was going to fall off the screen. <laughs> I know what is supposed to happen, but sometimes it still scares me. <clears throat> with things like PS4s and Xboxes and Wii U's, back in the day, the NES was kind, uh, was kind of just as powerful as PCs released at the time. Well, I mean, to an extent. Well, I mean, static electricity happens today, too. It's just we have protocols that are much more resilient. Again, Mario got pushed over to the right. Again, technique to get up here so you can do the off-screen screen wand grab. Distract me one more time so we can get to the perfect number. Everyone loves a show-off. Distraction? It's not working. Oh, hey. Okay, I guess it worked because I said distraction. All right, fine. <laughs> I have been distracted 42 times. <laughs> yeah, everything is always twisted pair. The question is if it's shielded. Okay, now this is a new strategy. Um, wait, what? Oh, he keeps... Okay, so Mitch uses a very different method to get through here. He uses a... Uh, what? Okay, now I'm just so confused. Anyway, Mitch uses a technique where he has uh, the tail through here. And... <laughs> okay, alright, Mitch doesn't do that either. Um, show off. Okay, I didn't expect him to take that entrance to that room. But he did. <laughs> I guess it was faster. <laughs> So Mitch uses the P-Wing there to get up to the up to the top pipe. Uh, um, yeah, he P-Wings up. And then he slides through uh, and gets... Yeah. So he kind of didn't realize that the task did this and it, it just routed it totally differently a couple of months ago. A couple of weeks ago, really. Okay. So this is similar to how Mitch is currently doing this. He's using the, the music box to, to halt the progress of those useless Hammer Brothers. Uh, he more or less does this the same way. <laughs> Good golly. <laughs> Taskbot is a god gamer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, so they're asleep, so we can go right through them. They're also not causing trouble. Now, Mitch gets up here really fast. He generally has P-Speed going into there, but he doesn't flirt as much as he... as This task flirts with enemies. Also, that was a stupidly high jump. And that is an amazing pipe glitch. And I love it. Hammer Brothers can absolutely be manipulated. If you completely control all RNG by completely controlling all input, you can force the Hammer Brothers to do exactly what you want. Man, Mitch is so good at that section. He's really, really on top of it. That pipe glitch is pretty crazy, huh? He hit it... Yeah, it, it's... Pipes are a little funny. He clipped into it and came in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy clip. So again, manipulating what items were on screen, uh, getting a score that would reduce lag, things like that. All these techniques matter. Movement of one on the Hammer Brother to reduce the amount of time you have to wait for him to move. Hammer Brothers are the bane of Mitch Flower Power's existence. They're constantly in the way. Also, getting P-Speed early in this level was not easy for Mitch. It took him a long, long time to get that. Flirtatio flirtatious Taskbot, you said? A Hammer Brother Marathon? Yeah. Well, Hammer Brothers like to run away, and that's no fun. That's no fun at all. All right. That is the perfect name for the hard emote. Yeah, flirtatious taskbot. I like that. All right, this is Jesus clip. Sometimes Mitch tries this. It does take a little bit of time, but it's still faster than doing the level. And perfect. What's the maximum Hammer Brother movement possible? Someone once got 50. There's no upper cap. <laughs> I 
First try, nice. <clears throat> Mitch does it when he wants to rescue a run that's on the edge. Okay, pass spot, you're just showing off at this point. <laughs> <clears throat> you did a rando run and got stuck in an endless loop where, uh, here in World 5? How'd you, uh, An endless loop? What do you mean? Um, it's... There's minimal things that a human can do to manipulate the Hammer Brothers, because they're in G-Seed. The pseudo-random pseudo number, number generator is seeded by human input. I'm, I'm sorry, by controller input. And a human doesn't have the ability to frame by frame make it perfectly accurate. Oh my goodness, for five minutes? Five minutes? What? How? Five minutes? How many different movements of that was it? That's ridiculous. Yes, uh, you can. You can in fact move in the pe uh, move in the cutscene, which is kind of hilarious. Now he's just flexing. Yes, he's definitely flexing. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> Same here, where he's getting one-ups. Oh, he couldn't pull that one off, though. <laughs> Almost kept the chain going. A lot of things here. If he loses frames, he's not going to generally allow it to continue. So ridiculous. Okay, clip into the right. Go down the pipe. And the wall jump. Off-screen wand grab. Epic. Epic. Come on, Taskbot, you're making the rest of us look bad. Yep, that's true. This is such a good task. I know that we've done too much Super Mario Bros. 3 at Games Done Quick events, but I think there's hope. Uh, did you make a clip of it? <clears throat> I don't need Taskbot to make me look bad. <laughs> well, most of us don't. Uh, I mean, it's possible. They, they're they're not supposed to do that, but... <clears throat> I mean, they, they have to move in a way that... I wonder if you could force that. I wonder if that, that would be an April, April 1st submission, to make a task that forces the Hammer Brothers to go stupidly in a loop. <laughs> and, and just end the task there. Okay, so Mitch uses a similar method, but he's not able to get the speed enough to retain being... Um, uh, Big Mario, but that's okay. Mitch uses the star route here as well to get all the way over to, Bows uh, to Boom Boom in time to boom him. <clears throat> Your union will probably not do it for AGDQ 2021. The earliest I would probably try it is in SGDQ 2021, to be honest, because we've done so much Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, I would do it in an ESA, perhaps. This run is good enough to absolutely be uh, wonderful at an ESA. Oh, God. All right, that's just ridiculous. You want to go to ESA, DC? I would like to. Let me know if you do. Okay, I'll let you know if I do. Um, orb. <laughs> maybe, maybe we just submit a lot of a lot of long passes. So this one is ridiculous. Either that or he desynced. Okay, nope. I don't, I, that, that's just silly. I can't believe that that's possible. <laughs> that, that level. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so how would you, what, what do you mean by an infinite hammer orb? Where does the orb part come in? When life gives you walls, you just clip through them. Oh, he keeps it there. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I get it. Orb is backward, bro. Got it. That was an interesting way to do it. Okay. No, I, I, faking never works well. Okay, that's a deliberate hit that even Mitch takes, which is kind of interesting. Man, 
Man, that speed retention, though. That is so good. Hmm. I'm gonna look at my stats here really quick. I've dropped 166 frames to rendering lag, and 446 due to encoding lag. That's kind of unexpected. Maybe I need to overclock again. <laughs> my load average is still at 12. Uh, OBS is using... Th uh, what? OBS is using... About... Um, 268... 276%, 300%, yeah. It's using about three full cores, and then there's probably some extras that are being used for other things. Interesting, though. I just noticed that there was a bit of encoding, like, not much, just a, a, I've only lost a couple of frames, but I'm kind of surprised by that. Anyway! Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You can call me distracted. That was a nice clip. Hey, nice to see you. Welcome to the chat. John, glad to have you here. Okay, another airship. <clears throat> and this time Mario just jumps. <laughs> yeah, you're saying a lot, but wow. Um, I didn't drop a lot of frames. It says in my stats here that I've had 147 dropped frames due to network. I've had... Uh, 40, 472 skip frames due to encoding lag, and 168 frames missed due to rendering lag. So, higher than I would like. My average time to render a frame is 7.1 milliseconds, 6.2 milliseconds, 5.9. So I'm not sure what caused it to be, uh, it might have been when I was doing stuff earlier. It's, it's not very much, considering I've been up for, well, what is my uptime? Uh, an hour and a half. That's not actually that much. And it's specifically encoding that seems to be getting impacted, and I don't really understand why. That's okay. Well, more swag strats here in this ship. Um, one of the things I should note is I have a lot of threads, but my threads aren't very fast. I'm, I am not currently overclocking, although I, I have the water cooler to do it. Uh, my Threadripper is the first, is an older generation Threadripper, so it doesn't have very good clock speed. Um, the specific Threadripper I have is the... Uh, is the uh, Threadripper 2950X. I've got 16 core Threadripper. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, yes. W uh, what did I miss? I missed something. <laughs> this is no right press airship, huh? Apparently. Nailed about the game music, huh? Uh, what about the game music? So this clip Mitch can do. Um, every time I'm on stream watching, it st he struggles with it. But he can do it. If I'm watching, it, it, it's a problem. If I'm not watching, it's fine. So Mitch can go through there. Oh, the first half was the airship was just down in A. Yeah, fair. Oh, copyright on VODs? I'm not worried about that. Why would Super Mario music mute this. <laughs> that, is, that is bizarre. Anyway, I'm doing it on YouTube anyway. So Mitch's strategy here is almost identical, and he's also able to shunt himself over to the right to get this. Um, well, no, it isn't. <clears throat> I, I want, I want newer, newer, uh, newer Threadripper at some point, but I'll continue to use this one. Well, yeah, o yeah, OC Remix muting me is a thing, but I thought he was talking about the level music from Super Mario Bros. 3. I would be really surprised if YouTube, if, if uh, Twitch or YouTube muted me for that. Okay, that was some pretty crazy lag production. So, OC Remix is being shown on the song info uh, in the upper area. I didn't ever disable it. Uh, it is, in fact, still playing, but I won't do that. Okay, so that's a thing. And then clipping through there is a thing. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. <clears throat> so a reminder to everyone, we are putting this on YouTube, so be conscientious of what you say.
<laughs> Hi, YouTube. Okay. So... This is silly. Again, the upside-down pipe, because why not? <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Deliberate hit. Even Mitch oftentimes does that, depending on what strategy he's going or going for. Spade was here? Oh, okay. Obscene remark. You guys are ridiculous. Alright, so coming up in a second is that. Mitch can get it, but it's not easy. And that's sometimes a run killer. Totally not a self-promo. <laughs> Unusual comment here. So thankfully there are no Hammer Brothers here. Right here, this clip is possible for Mitch to do. But it destroys his fingers. So he tends not to do it. He, he goes for what I think is an even more difficult one in the next level. But in, uh, well, yeah, seven, uh, yeah. <laughs> he does seven, eight instead of seven, seven often. Hey, thanks so much for that follow. I appreciate it. So this one here just is such a nightmare. He has to figure out how to get through it. All right. And Mitch is only able to guarantee subpixel positioning on the first clip. Um, he can now do it by, by positioning himself coming out of a pipe. He knows certain positions are possible for him. So that first clip is easier for him than the rest. But man, every time I watch, it just destroys him. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Why do some clips go right and left before doing the clip? Uh, most of them will. It's usually to, p to manipulate position. Uh, Subpixel positioning on Mario 3 is a very, very challenging to explain thing. Ooh, I like the color of my wall behind me. Nicely done, guys. Nice blues and purples. You guys have pretty colors. Isaac A, thanks very much for that follow. Isaac A is well known in a couple of communities, but I will not out them. <clears throat> Pretty color, let's fix that. Fixing CompuCat, stop that. Make it brown. You guys are like Sleeping Beauty, where the... <laughs> the fairy godmothers are all switching the color of the dress. <laughs> Here's some blinding white light. So the color of your name affects the lights behind me, and you can make a collage of disaster, if you'd like. <laughs> okay, this is a ridiculous airship. Really? <laughs> you see a pink light and you want to paint it black? Well, you could try, but you're going to really mess with us if you make your name black. purple unit like that. Okay. That that is very purple. You guys are having fun. Glad to see it. I love the amount of silliness here, like that right there, the frame perfect back and forths. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So silly. <laughs> Media magnet. I thought you removed that command. Hey, you turned my lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Media! <laughs> What's next? Party mode? Oh, yeah, Mubro fixed it. Alright, yet another push to the right. Um. <laughs> Off screen wob gr wand grab. Thank heaven, I'm not sure what that's a reference to, and I'm not gonna ask. I might have to restart the script. Okay, that's fine. I recall that when you do that, it tends to break things. Let me let me go look. Let's see if that broke. Yeah, you 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 killed Hugh Fighter. All right, let's do party mode. Because why not? I like party mode. Party mode is fun. <clears throat> What's that? I just typed it. <laughs> oh, paint it. Oh, got it. That makes more sense. One of my cameras is frozen? I wonder why one of my cameras is frozen. Great. Why is my camera frozen? <laughs> I have no idea why my camera is frozen. 
Um. Eh. Beats me. It is definitely frozen, though. Yeah, that's definitely frozen. <laughs> yeah, that that went pretty bad. Oh well, I've got another one. You didn't know about this one. Ha, you didn't know about this camera. Oh, it has some serious lag though. Wow, that's uh... Why, why so much lag? Wow, that's, that's not a good idea. <laughs> All right, well, we'll hide that one, too. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to this one. Uh, let me see, is it still detecting? Let's see, let's see my status. Yeah, it says it's still, uh, still getting an image, so... Uh... Yeah, it done died. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that either. <clears throat> I can try changing it to 30. But I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, it, it done locked up. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not sure what's up with this one. This one's, like, super delayed. That's, that's funky. We need cat cam? All right, I can get cat cam. Uh, where's Kitty, though? Uh, we don't know where Cat is, so we could put Cat Cam up, but I don't see where Cat is. Okay, he just ran through a cannonball. That's not nice. Mitch doesn't do that. <laughs> Try blowing on it. I don't want to get up right now, because if I get up, I generate static electricity, and I don't want to risk desynchronizing this run in World 8. <laughs> we worked hard to get here, folks. <laughs> okay. So party mode is over. Uh, so now we're back to normal names. <sighs> 99 Red Duangos ACs floating through the summer summer sky, huh? But, I mean, that might work. Put on cat cam where you'll invent the cat for me? I mean, I can, but... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> What's interesting is that there's nothing at all going on in Paint by Numbers at all. Like, it's completely hijacked right now. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the story is for that. Paint by, num Paint by Numbers is active, it's just nobody's doing anything with it. Okay. So this is the Holy Grail. Slide, pipe clip, yeah, just amazing. And then no hands, of course. That's easy to manipulate if you have a task, but... Okay, this airship is just silly. He does so many ridiculous things here. So unfortunately, we no longer have the... Is that chat room still active? Because I think the chat room is gone and you can't join it anymore. Unless I'm mistaken. So we probably need to update that message. Yeah, did not use the, the pause strap for no hands. Because uh, there's no need to. We completely control ma and completely manipulate all of RNG. <clears throat> I lost my straw. Oh no. I lost the straw entirely inside of it. I can't get the straw out now. In many ways, this is more authentic to a real coconut, though. <laughs> yeah, they took away chat rooms, mostly because we abused them. <laughs> well, we didn't abuse it so much as... Things that we did could have been abused. <laughs> okay, this level is really nicely done, in my opinion. Flipping into both of those... <laughs> ridiculous. All right, I give. <clears throat> coconut milk? Uh, no, it's not. Co well, it's not coconut milk. It is uh, coconut water in this case. I should send the said milk. It's coconut water. That's just ridiculous. Right up the hill. Slide faster. Strat cannot be found. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see how using thousands of messages. Um. <laughs> So yeah, PBN. You're doing it wrong, try hard. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work like that. How do you make a clip? I don't even use the clip button. Okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, now you're just absolutely showing off. <laughs> I didn't know you could get down there. <laughs> sure. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you got stuff to do and here you are watching nuclear. That's... That, that's not uncommon. That just sort of happens. So you do everything you can to make these levels as interesting as possible. Try hard you don't do it with the exclamation point PBN. Um, there is a room that you can go to. Uh, it is on our own private IRC server. Uh, if you ask the Moss or one of the mods, maybe they can help you out. Oh, that pipe. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah, you have a Japanese test tomorrow. Well, there are people here who speak Japanese. Maybe we can help you. What are the words you need to learn? <laughs> okay, thank you, Tryhard. <clears throat> Mine turned off. Okay, this is a strategy that Mitch is actually able to pull off. It's very difficult. He's able to get far enough over that he can sometimes get the star effect to work. It's very difficult for him, though. All right, Kitty has deemed it appropriate to return to us. Okay, don't cause me trouble, Kitty. Okay, so the moss just uh, put the address in there, but be careful, it might mess up your, uh, it might mess you up. <laughs> okay, Cat Cam will be returning as soon as this run completes. Kitty has settled in a spot I think she will stay at. <clears throat> All right, well, that was Super Mario Bros. 3 Warpless. Uh, a really good run. Warpless run by Tampa and Lord Tom. I don't know who probably gets more credit. Probably Lord Tom. But for some reason, this video was never console verified, and I have no idea why. So now we have a console verification video. Thank you so much for sticking around for this. I really appreciate it.